This is Kimalu, a 12-year-old beluga whale born at Chicago's Shedd Aquarium, and she just became the first ever beluga to recover from general anesthesia after an unprecedented surgical procedure. Whales and dolphins have unique biological adaptations that made general anesthesia impossible until now. One reason anesthesia on whales and dolphins was previously considered impossible is because of the way that their brain works. Anesthesia disrupts the communication between different parts of the brain, leading to a loss of consciousness and responsiveness. In humans, anesthesia doesn't disrupt our ability to breathe because it's an unconscious or an involuntary function of the human body. In other words, we don't have to think about taking a breath. We just do it naturally, so we can do it in our sleep as well. But that's not the case for whales and dolphins. They are voluntary breathers, meaning that they don't have an automatic breathing reflex like humans, which makes a lot of sense when you live in the water. You don't want to just accidentally take a breath under there. So they have to consciously control their breathing. They have to physically think about every single breath that they take. 